Hello everyone. Today we are going to start this new series on Node.js. Over here, we will be discussing what Node.js is, its advantages, what it can do, and why it is a powerful tool for developers to create server-side applications. So why Node.js? Node.js's key advantage is its ability to process multiple requests at the same time without interfering with the processing of other requests, which means that multiple processes can be completed without waiting for others to finish. As a result, it is an excellent choice for developing high-performance, scalable network applications. Secondly, Node.js is based on an event-driven non-blocking I.O. system, which makes it lightweight and efficient. This is appropriate for creating high-performance, scalable network applications. Another advantage is that it uses JavaScript, a language that is already popular and used by developers, making it much easier for them all to make server-side apps. What more can Node.js do? Node.js offers a vast array of uses, from basic command line utilities to large online apps, building web servers, real-time applications, back-end services for mobile apps, and designing microservices are some of the most common uses of Node.js. And because Node.js uses JavaScript, which is a very lightweight and simple language, and Node.js uses JavaScript on the server side, it can manage a large number of concurrent connections. Its ability to handle numerous connections and real-time applications with ease solidifies its reputation and it can cope with real-time applications extremely quick. Before we move forward, let's quickly talk about the Package Manager. The Package Manager, NPM, is a core component of Node.js. NPM is the world's largest package manager, and it is used to manage Node.js packages and dependencies. This simplifies the installation and management of external libraries and modules, as well as the sharing of code between projects. As a result, Node.js is a developer-friendly tool since it allows them to simply add functionality to their projects by reusing existing packages and modules. Let's get started by downloading and installing Node.js on your machine. The installer is available for download from the official Node.js website, nodejs.org. Once Node.js is installed, you may test it by typing the following command into your terminal. This will display the version that you installed. It may differ from mine due to frequent upgrades by developers. Let's create our first simple Node.js server. We can use the built-in HTTP module to construct a basic Node.js server. Here's an example of a basic server that listens on port 3000 and answers to requests with Hello World. We'll save this script with .js extension. Let's say server.js for now and save. To run this file, just go to your terminal and type node space server.js. This will start the server and it will listen on port 3000. You can test the server by opening your browser and navigating to HTTP localhost 3000. Check out our Hello World server at localhost 3000. If you want to compare it to something, you may take a look at the live server, which we have used in practically every video up to this point. Node.js also has a read evaluate print loop environment that allows developers to test and execute JavaScript code in real time. This is an excellent application for testing and troubleshooting Node.js apps. Node.js has a built in debugger that can be used to debug Node.js applications in real time. In upcoming lessons, we will dive further into Node.js capabilities and construct more complex apps. We'll also go over advanced subjects like NPM, dealing with web frameworks like Express, and integrating Node.js with databases like MongoDB. Remember that Node.js is a powerful tool that enables developers to use JavaScript to create high-performance and scalable network applications. You may now begin exploring with Node.js and developing your own applications using the knowledge you've obtained from this course. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on Node.js and more. Follow us on social media for updates and new tutorials. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.